As Governor Stitt unveils his plan for Medicaid in Oklahoma, a group 300,000 strong is pushing back, saying that it doesn't have the people's best interest in mind. Two Works for You's Christy Maria breaks down both sides and why the decision will soon be yours. But efforts to do this through amending our Constitution to force Medicaid expansion are wrong and will be ineffective and will fail to fix our problems. Governor Kevin Stitt confident the path he's choosing with Sooner Care 2.0 is the right one for the state. Thursday, the governor announced he wants Oklahoma to be the first state in the country to transition to President Trump's healthy adult opportunity. He says it would expand Medicaid while giving the state more control. As part of Sooner Care 2.0, the governor would apply for more than $1.1 billion in additional Medicaid funds, establish work requirements on those applying for Medicaid, and use the money to improve access to care in rural Oklahoma. With flexibility, we will seek to establish moder moderate premiums to prepare members for the responsibility of transitioning to private health insurance coverage. The group Yes on 802 has been advocating for a different path. They've collected more than 300,000 signatures, people saying they want to expand Medicaid coverage to an additional 5% of Oklahomans. In a statement, the group says Yes on 802 is the gold standard for expanding health care, and it guarantees that politicians and special interests can't mess with our care in the future. Instead of the state collecting money from the federal government and deciding where it goes, State Question 802 would expand Medicaid coverage for single adults who make less than $17,000 and families of four who make less than $35,000. Governor Stitt will have to decide whether the state question will be on the June primary ballot or the November general ballot. Chris DiMaria, Two Works for You.